we're go. So to move the MTS machine head up and down, we are first going to start by turning on the coolant valve. If you don't turn on the coolant valve, the hydraulic power unit will shut off, rendering the whole thing inoperable. So the first thing we do after turning the water on is come over here and turn the MTS box on and the computer on. Log in using the password admin, all lowercase. Wait until it initializes and open station manager. There is only one config file, so we're going to open config1. And reset interlock1. Turn on HPS1, HPS2, and then turn on HSM1 and HSM2. Both of those can also be controlled from the remote pendant by turning on HSM and HPU. We're going to walk over to the unit now. And attempt to adjust the hydraulic head. Notice that there are two valves here. Cross head lift control, up and down, and a lock and unlock valve. Now we should open the opposite of the valve, just a little bit. Switch on pressurizers, and you can hear it pressurizing. And then unlock the head. You'll notice the head is now moving up slowly. If I close the, the valve so the output will stop, and open the valve for the tail, it will come back down. Position the head wherever you would like using the two valves, ensuring that one is closed before you open the other. When the head is in the appropriate position, wherever you would like it, Flip that switch back to lock, lock the head back in place. Using either the computer or the pendant, turn off HSM sequentially, and you are finished.